everybody doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, this is part two of my painted, actually my custom 235.1 uh, mini theater screen. Alright, so we use our new screen paint, which is the, our new roll-on screen paint, uh, which is the um, Eclipse Ultra 4K Supreme Cinema, and we used it with the blackout cloth because a lot of people are asking me to do the demonstration using the new blackout cloth that we now offer. Now, keep in mind with the black screen paint, the blackout cloth will remain white because it's going really to be impossible to paint a black screen on a black surface or black um, uh, blackout cloth. So, let me show you this. This is the blackout cloth that comes with your kit for free. Of course, it's not like this. It's folded up neatly. But this is after I got finished cutting it for the screen over here. And to show you that it is a bit transparent. Perfect for acoustic speakers. You can see the lamp on the other end. Actually, my ceiling lamp on the other end. So you can see that it is basically a bit transparent. This is fantastic because sound can travel through it. Even if you paint over the screen, sound can travel right through it. It doesn't make a difference. So keep in mind that you have an amazing... This is free. Keep in mind, it's a free blackout cloth. Uh, two quarts will come with a surface size that is 10 by 12. And the gallon sizes will come with a surface that will be, um, that will be 10 by 20 feet. That is freaking huge. Anyway, so uh, the blackout cloth, even though it's folded, it stretches out perfectly. There's no wrinkles or imperfections on your screen. This is a 10-way stretch material. Very easy to cut, very easy to use, and it doesn't require a lot of pulling to actually tighten the screen. It's actually very easy to tighten the screen when there's a few staples in your screen. Uh, also, mind, keep in mind, it's very easy to paint. Now, if you're curious to see how this screen was designed, uh, please check in the bottom of the comment section. You will get a chance to see exactly me painting the screen me showing you the screen off actually before it's painted so you can see exactly how amazing this blackout cloth is also too on top of that for those of you who like the traditional border around your screen as you can see there's a border around the screen right there one half has a border and the other half doesn't so this is borderless right here and this is with the border now it's easy to make the border around your screen because all you would have to do is take some frog tape and just take the area around the screen paint over and pull it off and you have a have a, um, a border around it. Keep in mind when you do this you want to make the screen two inches larger than it is because the fact that when you um I would do it with a uh, a four inch board a four inch uh, piece of uh, of um, uh, wood strip. Now, if you do a four inch piece of wood strip you should be able to pull it off pretty easy because it's automatically going to give you an extra two instead of you using like a thinner wood strip would be two in two I think it's uh, two inches wide um, that would automatically you know give you that precise measurement but if you do it by four then you always have that two inch at the bottom it will always be a little bit wider than about two inches wider than the average size screen so you can do that with a border uh, making that easily out of frog tape I don't have any frog tape around here anywhere do I nope I don't have any frog oh here it is here it is so this is what I use the frog tape trim it around the side of the screen that's what gives you the border you'll see all that in the demonstration when I post that at the bottom all right so over here we're about a good maybe uh, to fit the screen we're about a good maybe I say eight feet away from the screen about seven to eight feet away from the screen we're using our Casio 10 I'm sorry not Casio our ViewSonic 1080p projector I'm going to be changing out the floor pretty soon we're tearing up all this drop cloth throw it in the trash and start off with something nice clean and white all over again so we be doing it this week I know a lot of people are asking the questions or a few people have been emailing me about the ceiling I can't tell you about that yet still working on some um, it's a project and motion but I can't talk about that too much right now alright so let's show off our screen um, and oh, oh, let me, oh I forgot to tell you, I'm sure you can tell you so yes it is acoustic you can put your center speaker behind it. So there's my center speaker sitting behind my screen. Yeah, my screen is kind of dirty because I had it on the floor. My floor is really, really dirty. Got to change out the blackout cloth. But here's my speaker sitting behind the back of the screen. And this will allow you to be able to put your, you can put your center speakers on the back of the screen because the material is very thin. See, there you go, very thin. All right, so let's go over here. And let's start our demonstration. Mind you, all sound will be coming from the screen and not from the projector. Keep in mind, we're doing this in a fully lit environment.
Now the screen paint, like I said, we're using as our new screen paint. This is our Ultra 4K, or Eclipse, Ultra, uh, Eclipse, sorry, Ultra 4K Supreme Cinema. All our screen paints have amazing angle gain. Now the demonstration I'll show you at the bottom of the video, you'll see how easy it was for me to paint this screen. So keep in mind that only with our screen paint you're getting a Amazing size blackout ball. I mean, come on, two quarts come with a screen size that's 10 by 12 feet. Two, a gallon size comes with a screen size that's 10 by 20 feet. The blackout cloth is a beautiful slick black on top of that. It doesn't allow much light to push through the back of it because the screen is black. The center fact it's a 10 way stretchable material. You can design your own borders off it just like that. And on top of that, it's completely acoustic. We can stick that sound bar right in the back of it. Now I'm be doing this same demonstration right here because I like the colors in this demonstration. Or I like the colors in this video. I'm going to be posting that on the uh, Nano Black. Because I got to see what this looks like on the Nano Black. All right, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Game. Thank you all for watching. Keep in mind, this is free blackout cloth that comes with our kits saying thank you so much for supporting our company.